Most electromechanical locking hardware works similar to its mechanical counterparts. So understanding most electromechanical hardware depends on an understanding of mechanical locking hardware. We suggest you know a little about locks, exit hardware, and strikes before watching this video. We'll show you how the addition of a solenoid or motor can provide benefits such as access control, security, and convenience in ways that mechanical locking hardware is unable to do. By the way, a solenoid is simply an electromagnetic component that converts energy to motion that, for our purposes here, provides an electrical means to do something mechanical inside locking hardware. Let's look at three common electrified locking products. Electric strikes, electrified lock sets and trims, and electric latch retraction exit devices. Electric strikes take the place of standard pocket strikes used for most types of locking hardware. A standard pocket strike has a rigid keeper, sometimes called a lip, that holds the latch bolt in the pocket until someone mechanically operates the lock or exit device. An electric strike has a keeper that is controlled electrically. In the locked condition, the keeper stays rigid. When unlocked, the latch bolt can be pulled out of the strike from the key side of the door because the lip moves. A spring attached to the keeper and body returns the keeper to the original position, and when the door returns to the closed position, the beveled latch rides over the keeper and falls into the pocket. Most electric strikes today use solenoids to control the keeper's locked and unlocked status, although some strikes use a small motor. Electric strikes are commonly used for access control where an attendant such as a receptionist or security guard uses a push button or access control panel to buzz someone into a restricted section of a building. Electric strikes are also frequently used with card readers for employee entrances. Manufacturers such as Von Duprin offer many electric strikes to accommodate different types of locks and exit hardware. Along with wireless electronic locks, which we are not addressing in this video, electric strikes are one of the easiest ways to add access control to an opening. Electrified lock sets from manufacturers such as Schlage are another way to add access control, security, and or convenience to an opening. Instead of using a traditional key to unlock the outside lever, an electrified lock set has a motor or solenoid that electromechanically moves the internal mechanism that locks and unlocks the outside lever. Similarly, an electrified lever trim used with mechanical panic hardware works in much the same way. The electrified trim has a solenoid or motor that electromechanically moves the internal mechanism that controls the unlocking of the outside lever. Both electrified lock sets and trims can be used on fire-rated openings because they can be set to be unlocked in case of power failure or a fire alarm while still maintaining positive latching. You'll see electrified lock sets and trims used for everyday access control too. They do require power to be transferred from the frame to the door, usually via an electric hinge or pivot. And the door may require a raceway to feed the wire from the hinge to the lock. By the way, both electrified lock sets and trims typically are provided with a mechanical key override. For doors that require exit hardware, manufacturers such as Von Duprin offer electric latch retraction options that when given power will allow the door to be pulled open from the outside. Specifically, Von Duprin calls their electric latch retraction EL or QEL. An EL device has a solenoid that electromechanically retracts the latch bolt, whereas the QEL device has a motor. In both cases, the latch retraction can either be for a few seconds for a typical access control setup, or for a prolonged period to replace mechanical dogging. EL and QEL devices are commonly used with card readers for access control, as well as on openings that utilize low energy automatic operators. Electric latch retraction devices are also quite popular in schools, universities, and other installations where there are banks of doors that are routinely unlocked. When connected to a fire alarm system, they can be used on fire-rated openings, say in hallways and in auditoriums, where the convenience of push-pull operation is desired, but mechanical dogging is not allowed. If the fire alarm is triggered, the latches are released and positive latching occurs. 
We've just scratched the surface of the topic of electrified locking hardware. Understanding fail secure and fail safe is your next step in an orientation on electrified hardware. Please check out our video on fail secure versus fail safe. To watch more videos, please visit our training page at www.allegion.com/us.